Hey everyone, Rocky here. It's been a few weeks since I've posted a video. That's because I took on a project that prevented me from day trading micro features on a daily. But recently things have settled down, so I'd like to continue what I enjoy doing. Uh, so far I'm doing it on Sundays for now and usually after marketing the evenings, but that's really dependent on how my day is going. Today I just wanted to talk to you about understanding uh, the option buying power value that you have when uh, trading micro features. What does that mean? Well, you'll understand better when I uh, show you the examples. Uh, that's the best way for me to learn. So here we're looking at, on the left here, we're looking at the four micro features that you can trade. MES, uh, Micro Mini uh, for the S&P 500. Uh, MYM, that's the Micro Mini for the, for the Dow. MNQ is a Micro Mini for the NASDAQ. And M2K is the Micro Mini for the Russell 2000. I just wanted to show you what each of these costs with uh, TD Ameritrade, thank or swim. Again, I know Thinkorswim is a lot more uh, expensive compared to other brokerage they have, but it's something I'm used to using. I like the tools it has, I like the customer support, and that's why I'm sticking with it, even though it's a bit more expensive. And then, as you can tell here, oh, we're gonna look at it. This is the MES, S&P 500. I don't have the auto send on because I just wanna show you what the cost. So if, we're to, if I were to buy one contract of this, it will cost me a thousand dollars and seven hundred thirty one thousand seven hundred thirty dollars to buy one contract of micro mini mes which that's a lot of money and that's not including your your commission and fees so it's 225 for the commission for for one one way of the trade and 22 cents for the fees. So that's $2.47. So back and forth, 247 plus 2.47 is $4.94. So every time I trade, I just think of it as uh, one way back and forth will cost me $5. So whatever profit I'm making, if I made $20, that is showing, for example, on the profit losses I open, I already subtra subtract $5 to that. So it's just a lot easier for me to understand if I'm really making money or not. Uh, okay, let's cancel that. Next one is the MYM. Let's see. If you were to buy one, it will cost you $1,420. So that's the Dow. Out of the four, this is the, uh, the cheapest, I guess, per se. And that's why I'm trading it at the moment. Now, I'll talk a little bit about the, the quick trade I did, I did right when the market opened at 3 p.m. Um, this Sunday, uh, October 25th, 2020. And then the next one is NASDAQ. If you look here, NASDAQ has been pretty volatile lately and that's why, you know, one contract will cost you $2,360. So this number is really dependent on the brokerage and basically the volatility of the uh, micro features itself. I'm sure there's a lot more that goes into it, but on a high level, I just look at it. If, if it's been really volatile uh, recently, that usually what drives the, uh, the cost of a contract is. Last but not least, uh, the, the Russell uh, 2000. This one, it's a lot cheaper. It actually costs about $815 for a contract. Uh, I've traded in the past, but it doesn't move as much, but that doesn't mean you can't make money out of it. So it's definitely something that I probably would be looking at, especially if you have a small account like I do. Uh, it would be a good one to, to use for uh, to learn how to trade the micro features itself. All right, let me close that before I actually open the position. Um, I'm going to go back to the, uh, the DAO here. And like my other videos, I like to uh, draw a vertical line to indicate when I started a trade and when I close a trade. 
So here, uh, I shorted two contracts at uh, 28,050. And then I was, uh, you'll be able to see the live video. As I was gaining profits on this, I usually put an OCO, which is a one cancels the other. And to manage my risk, I changed the, the upper limit of it from a stop loss to a trailing stop. So that way, you know, it's just free money. It's just gaining on its own. I won't have any FOMOs and I just let it gain as much as I can. And if it goes back, then hey, I'll lock in the profit. So you'll be able to see it on the video. This was a nice uh, $50 profit. But like what I mentioned earlier with the commission and fees, um, if you subtract that, it'll be $45. Anyway, enjoy the video.